Dweebcast. Hey guys, I'm Andy Reesmeyer. Welcome back to Dweebcast. Hanging out here today with the nicest person on the internet, Jennifer Landa. Yay! Thanks. One of our Twitter followers tweeted and asked, since you love Star Wars so much, how much it would cost for you to change your name from Jennifer Landa to Jennifer Lando Calrissian. Well, I technically already have that name. I'm known as Landa Calrissian on Tumblr, oh, okay. so sorry buddy. It's already been taken care of. Better luck next time. <laughs> today, we're gonna make action figure bookends. Ooh. Yes. So, Landa, how are we gonna kick this one off? Autobots, roll out. <laughs> All right. So here are some pieces of wood. Yeah. Uh, so the, here's the thing, when you're picking your wood, you wanna make sure it's a hardwood as opposed to a soft wood. So many opportunities for jokes. Don't there. go there, I'm don't saying. go there. So there's different types of hardwood. Uh, there's poplar, which is really great. Is that what, what is this right here? This is actually red oak. Red oak. Mm -hmm. And I got it at Home Depot. It came um, in a two foot board, and then I just had the guy cut it for me. So these are six inch pieces. They just love to help you there, don't they? Now you need to sand the wood. That's so that it can stick together? Uh, basically, you just want to get the rough edges out so you don't uh, you know, wreck your bookshelf. Oh, okay. Or so you want to use coarse sandpaper, and then you want to give it a try? Yes, of course. Just go... Like that? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Hey! You're going to sand all the edges, make sure that there's no splinters, then you're ready for the next step. Okay, so we laid down the Sunday Times, most useful this newspaper has ever been. Now, we are gonna glue the pieces together. Okay. So you're gonna take some wood glue, like this. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So you're just gonna wanna put a thin little line. Can it be a team effort? You sure, hold it I'll there, hold it. And I'll, mm -hmm. I'll start the, Not is that too much of a? That's, that's about right. Okay, that's good. That's good? Yes. All right. Then, you're gonna place it at a 90 degree angle, like so. Excellent. So you just use a Q-tip, a wet Q-tip. So we need to apply pressure while it's drying. So I have a handy clamp. This guy? Yes. I'm yeah. hold it like this? Yeah, that'd be great, thank you. Of course. Okay, so then That's you'll... what I'm here for. It's the only thing I'm here for. So just like that, you can use this clamp or you can use two heavy books on top of the bookends. Now what, the if, same thing. what if you don't have a, a book? Why are you making bookends? Oh, it's funny because oh. it's true. All right, all right, all right. You guys are really nice. Okay, so you've let it dry for about 30 minutes, then yes. it's ready to go for this next step, which is spray paint. Now, how do you decide what color you're gonna choose? What would you go with? Probably something that wouldn't be too bright because I don't want to overpower the action figure. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I chose. Ah, which right. is a light gray. And the cool thing about this is it's actually a paint and primer. So nice. it's just one easy step as opposed to if it wasn't like this, you'd need to buy a primer paint and spray paint that. So this is just one right. quick shot. So you're gonna shake it up and then you're gonna spray paint several thin coats and let it dry for about 24 hours. Let's do it. Okay. Spray paint several thin coats and let it dry for about 24 hours. Now we're gonna glue a piece of felt. So you're gonna wanna get a piece of felt like this. Okay. Uh, I actually cut it the size of the bookend, like so. Nice. And then you're gonna use your favorite tacky glue mm -hmm. and you're just going to put a little bit. And then movie magic, it's already on there. Whoa. Yes. Now that you've picked Optimus Prime, do you wanna super glue him? No. no. Right. So I have glue dots. These are a crafter's dream. You just peel it off. Can you eat them? No, you can't. So these stick on, but then you can get them off later. Exactly. That's the idea. So that way you're not permanently modifying your action figures. Now they're ready. So we have to coordinate them together now. Right. You like that? Oh, you like that? We got a very crafty crew. Yeah. Excellent. And that's it. You're done. And look at that, in no time, you have action figure bookends. Yes. How awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us how to make this. For more awesome stuff like this, check out JennyLanda.com and follow her on Twitter at Jennifer Landa. Yes. Also, you have some YouTube videos, right? I do. Like you're super into YouTube? I am into YouTube. How can we find your videos? YouTube.com slash Jennifer Landa. I'm Andy Reesmeyer. This is Dweebcast. We will see you next time. <laughs>